Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Daddy Gaming. We've got a special episode. We're getting ready to do an episode of the round table, and we're just waiting for Chris to show up. So we're gonna do a joint episode of Darkest Dungeon so that Tim can experience my pain with me. Um, somehow we both have not played this game, which I think is rather surprising. But um, he's gonna join me and we're gonna see if he thinks this is bullshit. <laughs> it's the only way to describe it. Alright, let's see this trying to see. Hello, hello. I'm going to turn the game audio down just a little bit once I get into it. Okay. Just because it sounds like it's really loud and it's blowing you out a little bit. Okay. And I don't want to All right, I got you. I don't want to I got you up there so I can see it. Okay, perfect. Trouble yourself not with the cost of this crusade. Its noble end affords you broad tolerance in your choice of means. Alright, so we're gonna go to 75. Okay, perfect. Alright, go ahead and talk to him, see if he's not better. Hello, hello. It's... Don't know if I'm gonna like this or hate this, but. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're gonna find out in real time. Yeah. Are you watching the stream so you can hear? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, let me know if you sound good. Oh yeah, I can hear it. Yeah, right. sounds good. Perfect. Um, so yeah, what, like a seven, eight second delay? But okay, can deal. Alright, so... Essentially how the game works is you're dungeon crawling through uh, randomized dungeons. Okay. You take a team of four and you kind of have a bunch of things you have to manage. This white bar is the stress meter. Uh, this is the hardest thing to manage in the game. Everything makes everybody stress. The more stress they get, the more negative effects. Anything you interact with in the world causes stupid shit to happen. Um, it's been a disaster this, thus far. I don't know how I haven't had a bunch of characters die yet. It's been like just pure Miracle Mile. Um, from this point forward. So essentially right now, 90% of my team is hiding in all these places, getting treatment, medical treatment, getting uh, you know mental treatment, uh, drinking their pain away. I mean, th this is quite literally <laughs> how much micromanaging has been taking place. Numbers mean nothing. 90% um, chance to hit is not a 90% chance to hit. That means it's a 90% chance to miss. Um, so it's just, it's just one of those fun things, right? It's a game designed it's like, to be pure. With the glass half, half empty? <laughs> uh, it's not half empty. It's just empty. There's no... <coughs> I've never played a game this this ridiculous. Um, in a, I'm not going to say never, but in a really, really long time. I don't think I've played something that was designed. And it's not like it's designed um, like a Souls game. Where it's like a really mm. stark drop off for skill curve, right? And like glass ceiling. No, it's just literally the mechanics of this game are designed in a way to just be absolute dark shit. <laughs> yeah, and it's and it's been out for um, it's been out forever. But, uh, right, and so I would think it's not. And apparently, there's a second it's... one. Um, let's see, when was this released? So it's not a bug, you know. It's, it's oh no, this is, this is all that this stuff is the out. game. Yeah. Yeah. So right. someone suggested that I play it because they thought I would enjoy it, um, and so yeah. Yeah. Are you? No, not at all. <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess it depends on what you consider enjoying it. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm like having to extremely micromanage every single aspect of this game in a way that's just, it's causing me more stress and anxiety than, it, than anything else. <laughs> um, it, it resonates through the, to yeah, the player. Yeah, no, it definitely does. 
So you have short, medium, and long missions. There might even be one longer than that. I haven't seen it yet. Um, but essentially, the longer the mission, the more crap that happens to you. Um, mm -hmm. So we'll go through the stats for you real quick. Um, <laughs> so you have stun, blight, disease, death blow. Death blow is when your character either takes too much stress or loses all of their life. They don't initially die or get knocked out. They have a death roll. It's kind of like D&D &D in that aspect, where if they succeed in the death roll, they don't die. Then you have oh. move, where they can manipulate your order. Bleed, debuff, and uh, trap, which is for world environment. Um, dodge, protection, which I believe is just pure damage reduction. I don't get it very often. You have max hit points and speed. Um, speed is how fast you act in an order. It means nothing because even if your guy has 10 speed, the enemy will still attack 7 times in a row. Um, accuracy, which is super important, but I don't have any, so there's nothing I can do about it. Um, so what we're going to do is... I have to... Like, this is how, how much I have to micromanage this. How do you get new characters? Do you have to kind of hire them, or they they show up every them? every round? It's not like they they disappear on you. All right, oh, okay. so this character is gonna get all my dodge. Um, so this gives him plus eight, and then this will give him plus ten. But as you can see, right, for some reason when I equip that, it goes to eighteen. But if I equip that, it goes down to twelve. Huh. It makes this game doesn't make any sense. So apparently, I'm not going to equip both of those to this guy. Um, oh, I didn't mean to take her off. So we're going to put this on her. What? See, it doesn't. No one's below 50% hit point. Maybe it's just like a bug in the when you're in the uh, the starting area. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna take it oh. in. We'll see if the game really is that broken. I mean, what's the worst that happens when guys die? Like, you know? Yeah, every time you go, you come out of the dungeon, there's like a new set of heroes that are randomized. All right, so basically we're gonna find a short one that looks easy. None of these accessories are good, so it's irrelevant. Um, how, how long have you been playing it? Two days. Oh, two days. Okay. I think, I think I want, no, that's a medium, I don't want a medium. Um, I guess we're gonna, we're gonna do this one. Also, there's a different uh, dungeons okay. you can yeah. choose to. So then, you have to have torches, because the torches are what keep the lights on. You have to bring food with you, otherwise your people will starve. Um, if you don't bring enough of all these other items, then, um, they get poisoned to death, like, so you got to manage your money because every expedition costs a certain amount. Mm -hmm. um, you do get refunded at the end for some things. Oh, this, is, this one is dumb. I have to do that. All right. So it's like, to some degree, it, it... <laughs> there's aspects of it I like, but at the moment, it just feels like. <laughs> It feels like there's it's an underlying there's underlying numbers that factor into the game more than the actual game factors into itself. The smell of rotting <laughs> fish is almost unbearable. All right, so then you have the map, right? So I have to go through this entire map in order to to win. Huh. Every time you move, so like that, I just got stressed for no reason. In radiance, may I guess we just because I'm walking. Victory. She has a, uh, a, they call it a quirk, but essentially it's a bad habit where anytime uh -huh. there's an interactable item or object, she has to interact with it. As the light he has one purchase, that makes her steal spirits items. Are lifted, so, this is made clear. All right, so I look at Grape Shot, right? 75% chance to hit for all of these, right? Luckily, I hit. We'll find out. Oh. Um, you'll see that there's just like this 
landslide. Remember when you used to play hockey online, yeah. and then it just felt like the, there was just that point with, we called it the, what, the ice tilt? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this, yeah. this game is full ice tilt. Um, every second of this game is it's just full ice tilt. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is an 80% chance to hit both. Uh, actually, get plenty of hitables. So on top of you have to kill everything, I can't attack him now because there's corpses in the way. So I literally, I have to clear the corpse out of the way in order to be able to hit him again. Wow. How do you clear the corpse out? What's up? Oh, 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 whether you have a chance to come back or what? Yeah, no, no, no. The corpse, it's just like an uh, obstacle in the way for some reason. Huh. So this is my good team, so hopefully it doesn't go super bad, but like my last, when you watch my first two videos when they go up, um, I think they go up like next week sometime, um, it's, it's horrible. Like, the lights, it's, <laughs> the promise of safety. I think for four attacks in a row I had a 90% chance to hit, and I missed every single attack. And it's just like, what, like why? So like this right here is going to give somebody a negative quirk. So she has to interact with it. Uh, something bad happened. Okay, now she's bleeding. <laughs> so that's what that. Oh, okay. Is that what that X is? Or... Yeah. That thing that pops up above her head, that means it's a quirk that uh, is being triggered. Oh. Okay, so. Again, I have a 75. This is 73%. Confidence surges as Luckily, the enemy we're hitting. Holds. So hopefully that means we're, we're not in that in a bad version of the game. Um, so then this person heals. Anytime you critical heal or hit crit something, it like reduces stress. But then there's characters, so like this, always adds stress, right? Yeah. And then when a character gets too stressed, he like starts yelling, and then every time it's his turn, he, he makes your whole team stress out more. So it's just like, it just... How do you heal the stress meter? Give them no quarter. You don't. Oh, you don't? There's no way Yeah, to you have to do it in town. Or whenever you get a kill, sometimes it cures Remind it. Remind yourself like, that overconfidence But the reality is, is it just doesn't, it doesn't go away, and everything in the game manipulates oh. it on the enemy end. So is that like a... Like a behind-the-scenes handicap mechanic that oh, kind of yeah. keeps you from... It's a huge yeah. handicap. So even if this was something I didn't want to interact with, she's essentially going to try and interact with it every single time. And then until, like, I get to something. <laughs> but then, like, I want to try and pick the person to, like, manipulate it because potentially it'll give the them a buff. Is struck. A but it just seems like everything... Born. Oh, there's traps everywhere. I'm surprised I haven't hit yeah. one, to be honest. Um... Luckily, he scouts a lot, so I've, I'm, like, scouting the areas, so, like, he just did that. So this is a magic pool. I want to interact oh. with it with her, but, you know, that's her quirk, is apparently she has to touch everything. The way is lit. The path is clear. <laughs> we require only the street. Yeah, so even if it's a bop, she has to take it? Yeah. So, remember, oh. this guy has 22 dodge. He's not dodged once. She's got 19. He's got le like everyone else has lefts, but they've they've managed to dodge. So because I crit killed, she gets stress relief, and then other people as well get stress relief. And then if you kill with the critical, so again, 75% chance. So I'm like I'm pretty on par with that. Oh look, you finally dodged one. Good for you, buddy. I'd hate for you to prove me wrong. So you probably have Look, to, you so have she's got a 4%, team. she's got a 4% chance to dodge, she's dodged three times this game. Or she's got a 4 for dodge. He's got 8, he's got 22. How, how is he literally can't dodge anything? Alright, so that was two 90s that just missed. Is that, is it because of where they're at in the position, in the lineup? You tell me, right? So 75, <laughs> 75, 75. That one went through. <clears throat> So what his debuff is with that attack is he makes it harder for them to dodge. Oh, okay. And as you can see, they're now already attacking like twice as much as I am. Right. Destroy them all. 
I mean, like, I I can't heal faster than they do damage, for sure. Like, that's just part of it. All right, and you so, can only heal in combat? Yeah, you can't do anything outside of combat except for, like, manipulate your inventory. Oh. Like, even if you had the potion in your inventory, you couldn't drink it? Yeah. So, like, I need to get her back up to higher life because she's got that this on, so now she's actually, like, worse for... The only good thing about this character is she's a beast. Like, she does insane this damage all over the place. So success. I can eat this food and it'll heal her a little bit. But because I did that, it doesn't count towards if they randomly decide they're going to be starving, which happens uh -huh. all the time. And that's just, like... So there's world events, there's room events, there's character events, tons of negative things. Like, apparently just walking stresses this guy out. I mean, like, I get it. <laughs> um, is it because of the light level, or...? No, I keep it max. Huh. So this is my, like, it's at the highest light radius it can be. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, right, I see it. Yeah, so, me I mean, Shadow like, Gate. that was my initial thought, too, but, like, I don't let it get low, because when right. you let it get low, there's a lot of really bad effects that happen. Right. So, this has got treasure, so we're gonna go this way. Right. Well, huh? Do you have to... When does the dungeon end? Do you have to go all the way back out? My... I, I have to go 90% of the dungeon. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're already coming, right, you're more so, than halfway now. Yeah, so this is a trap right there, like you can barely see it. He's my dis it. he's my disarmor. He's the MVP right here. Dura uh, oh, okay. Dismas. He's like he's carried every team he's been on, essentially. Yeah. But this is my my like good team. Okay, so this guy is like your defender, quote unquote. Um, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna Grape shot, so I have a 80%, 75%, 80 right? So far, so good. We have not been getting completely shit on on this one, but this What's is my the best team. This one right here? No, yeah, at the top, does that mean when it gets to zero? That's it's gonna, my radiant. It's gonna... So that's what round I'm on. I'm on round one. The more rounds you go, the faster your torch burns out. And then if you uh, get okay. to a certain... To, round apparently it spawns like really dangerous monsters um huh. yeah so then like you have mark self right so i can get 20 percent production here and i can mark myself but marked doesn't taunt it doesn't do anything it doesn't do what you think it would do right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all mark does is make you take more damage <laughs> so that's what I, that right there, that ability called guard, that's what I need. He's finally dodging attacks. This game is deciding oh, yeah. it's gonna work. This is insane. But again, how right? How many times how did you, you watch him ability? get hit? He got hit like five times in a row, right? Yeah. She hasn't gotten hit once and she's only got three dodge or four dodge. Like, what, that does not make any sense whatsoever. It must be their lineup, but maybe if she was the first in line, she'd start getting her butt kicked. No, it has It literally has no effect. Like, none of that okay. stuff has any matters, right? So, I'm still at a high rate, but I also, like, so, the point of him is to debuff everybody, and then I open veins, because the open veins has bleed, and the bleed does the most damage to all these guys. Like we can but, yeah, I can't hit because he's a quote unquote defender. Um, I can't hit these guys because they're hidden behind a corpse and then everyone in the front, right? Yeah. So even if you take zero damage, this move still adds stress. That's dumb. Alright, so I'm oh, trying yeah. to move everything he's forward. a lot of stress damage. Yeah. So like he's getting super stressed, and then when he gets too stressed, what happens is he uh He'll essentially just start, like, making everybody else more stressed. It makes them weaker every single time. Do you lose control of them? Yeah, they'll just start acting on their own, which is really, yeah. really shitty. So you have 
<clears throat> this is kind of an easier monster set. These guys haven't been that big a deal, the uh, Eldritch. There's a, yeah. uh, like a horror set where everyone, every move they do, adds stress. Like, they right, deal a ton yeah. of damage and add stress, and it's just, it's a disaster. Yeah, so you have like monsters that target hit points and then monsters that target stress. Yeah, but the the moment they target stress, your whole team just gets blown out. Right. Like, there's absolutely yeah, nothing yeah. you can do to defend it. Victory. So this could be trapped, so I want to open it with him. Alright, so I want to cure his thing here. And then I want to eat food so that it heals. That's like, this is the only way you can heal yourself is with food. Um, and then you outside, also... Outside of combat? Yeah. And then you also have like these holy waters, which... They only work versus a specific monster type, but... Okay, so like right there... That trap was Mind not that visible such to anybody. Are the <laughs> and not the rule. Oh yeah, look at that. Finding the stuff is only the first. It took a lot of uh, now it must be first damage from that. Yeah, like it's crazy. He's like halfway. Yeah. All right, so I don't know what this is. I've never fought one of them before. He's got no dodge though. Well, that should be pretty simple. I feel like I want to kill him. <laughs> Yeah, maybe the holy water will work on him. No, you can't. This this is only for your party. Oh. Oh, he died in one hit. Compassion I, uh, is good. A in the Some of these monsters battle. just wreck you all the way. This is my ace one though. Like this is my best party. The problem is you can only use them. You know once maybe twice because the stress gets so high you have to use your other team. oh right yeah 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 so it's like it just rest. becomes yeah. un unmanageable right and because he's officially taking so much stress if i take him into another dungeon he's more liable to like flip out on me right yeah and wreck the run yeah which will and then if i don't get to use these two i don't have any damage anywhere like these guys are my this is my dps this guy's interchangeable right. with another Success. another so character in view. so like i can continue or going if i want to because i want to interact with this because i wanted it to give me that debuff clearly it's just like the the risk reward in this game it's just it's dumb like it doesn't make any sense <laughs> okay we will find well, just because you're here, uh, that went really, really well. In this watery tomb. And uh, I'm a little upset that that it went that well. All right, so <laughs> he now gets a new positive quirk. He gets a negative and a positive. But he also, they both got diseases out of that. So now I have to cure him because I don't know what they do. Um, prone to investigate dark arts. So not only does he try and... Oh, actually, I think I cured his, his kleptomania. Because at one point, he stole absolutely every single item um, in the dungeon. I got nothing out of it. Like, it was a, the worst run I could have had. And he was my only character at the time. I couldn't use anybody else. Huh. Okay, so let's see. He's got spotted fever, which means anyone that uses blight on me automatically hits me. And she has the same thing but for disease so anytime uh, she gets a disease used on her she's going to just get bullied by it um, everyone else looks good wow I'm actually surprised so <coughs> I could just go back in with the same team? yeah if I wanted to um, so we're going to sell this and we're going to sell we're going to uh, I'm gonna keep that actually. Um, so before she couldn't hit anything until I got this right. So to me, like based off of how I've seen this game play out for me, the two stats you have to have are accuracy and dodge. Well, I, I'm not sure on the dodge yet. The accuracy is definitely a factor because if you don't have a high percent to hit, you're just not gonna hit. It's just it's never gone the other way. So then these are all the permanent um, quirks you get, right? 
So his quirk... Oh, no, he still has it. Okay, so he's prone to stealing. Now he's prone to do anything with the dark arts, which means any of the things I wouldn't normally click on, he's just always going to click on it now. Um, he also has to pray, so he can't do anything else, um, which kind of sucks. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to switch him to him. So we're going to take off his items... And then we're going to put them on Montreal or Mittenberg. Mittenberger. Mattenberger. And then I could also do a run where, like, I use her as my front guy. Right? Uh huh. But the only problem with that is if she... He's got so much more life. Naturally, I just don't... I feel like if I did that, she's just going to get screwed. And I don't want to risk that, because I really like this character, and I feel like if she dies, I'm going to be up shit's creek. Because she does... <laughs> she's the only one in this party that does any damage. This character is pointless, and it's just... This guy heals by hurting your team. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, like this character is cool, but it doesn't do any damage, because... I had to cure off one of the uh, quirks he had. He had a quirk that made him do minus 20% damage. And he already did shit damage. So it was just like one thing on top of another. This character, if I take him into a dungeon, will be at beyond max stress before like two rooms. Because he gets plus 15 stress and he can't hit beast. And then um, for some reason I feel like this hits him more often. It's just like... This one gets 20 stress if above 75, right? My, I'm always at 75 or higher. Right, yeah. Um, yeah. So, like, this character I can't use at all because it just gets worse at all times. So, has huh. zero dodge, right? Gets hit by everything. <laughs> it's like I have to spend 8 million gold to, like, cure all of that off. And it's, it's freaking ridiculous. So, like, for this, what do I want to take my time and it's expensive too, but I need to get rid of to clumsy because this character just gets bullied. Right. Like you just can't. Can you, you can't risk not having that. Can you just can you get rid of one and hire a new person? I could if another one came, but I, she's already level two. So these are the uh, these are my new ones. So I have a new one of him. Um. Ooh, he's actually really good. But if I take him, I have to... I, I only have room for one, <coughs> one more person. Oh, you have to get rid of one? Right, yeah. And then there's another Hellion. Well, that's pretty cool. I did want to try a run where you'd use two Hellions, because this move hits the top first three guys. So I wanted uh. to see if you could just chain the two Hellions. Like, just hit them back to back to back to back. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Um, oh, yeah, I got to cure that off. Alright, so are we taking Reynold to do a thing? Is that what we're doing? No, we're taking Merton Bird. Okay, so Reynold needs to get... That guy's name's Tally. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Alright, so he needs to get Spotted Fever removed, I guess. Yeah. And, like, if you don't cure these things, they get just even... Like, they're even worse, worse yeah. damage. Or, like, they get into a worse position. Um, all of these things take the same exact upgrade materials. Uh, it's just like, it's freaking insane. Um, so increase my roster size to 16. I feel like that's pretty good. I think I want to do that. Okay, so now I can actually hire extra guys. So... I don't think I want to take another Crusader, but I want to take the extra help. Barbaric sure. rage and unrelenting oh. savagery make for a powerful ally. Alright, does anyone need stress relief? I guess just him, but we're not going to take him in. Alright, so let's go. So, we are going to keep you here, and we're going to bring you in. And then, what happened to my healer? What they do? Oh yeah, I'm curing something. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take the bad healer in. 
So it's like, uh, first thing I need to do is I have to go find out if I need any of these things. So the heavy boots are really good because I think I think protection is pretty strong. Mm. Um, but I'm essentially at the moment all I'm looking for is well that's actually really good maybe uh, I'm not worried about damage. I'm looking for dodge. If anything here has dodge on it or accuracy. I feel like that's the only things I should be caring about right now. Because it's the oh, only two oh, stats that have just felt like they actually have a, a benefit. Oh. Uh, Everything well, else. had 20 protection. Yeah. Which for this guy, I think would be really good. Is that, is that area on the hill? Is that like a... This is the, like, it's the endless dungeon, I think. Um... Uh, like this right here would be incredible if I could actually complete this uh, this dungeon, but it's level six. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm not level. I'm not even close to level six. All right. Oh, so you have to kind of like work your way up. Yeah. So like on this you know one, I'm gonna try and save some money. So I'm gonna do a little bit less of everything. Because you remember how much I had. Well, one in the skulls. I mean, how many times that you've completed the dungeon, or like. What? That's what level the dungeon is when it comes to, um... Like, like the more you complete it, like, does it level up kind of thing? Yeah, and it makes it harder and harder and harder. But, yeah, like, so okay. see here, this is a level 3 dungeon, even though it's a short. Oh, uh, okay. So the last one was considered a level 1 dungeon. <coughs> um, so I might actually want to take... A little bit of extra stuff, but we'll see. Watch me just lose my whole party on this now. <laughs> so it's like you're you're constantly fighting this battle of like, am I supposed to be progressing or am I supposed to be like making money or like maintaining? Right. But they breed quickly down I there in the dark. You. Yeah, you have. Yeah, it's almost like you have your. You, you have to have wow. different teams set up for. Off to a good start. Already, already, already hit a trap that I couldn't see. Thirsting for blood. No. Nope. Now, interacting with something that almost killed me. I got some books in here. Ooh. Something good. Okay. So that's why you want to. Uh, like inter you want certain struck. characters to interact with other things because they have a higher percentage born. of uh, having a positive outcome. Right. Yeah. Okay. I've never seen this thing. This is probably gonna be a bad interaction. A real bad interaction. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Holy shit. That's a swinatar. Yeah, it's a swinatar. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm 100% gonna feel this. Um, okay, so we have 71. So, like, you see how drastically lower my percent to hit is now? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> He's got 63 life. That's crazy. Yeah, it's like a mini boss. Yeah, it really is. Um, I think we just need to go. Because if the long. Yeah. Like, and that's the thing is, like, so vomit does damage and adds stress. So he's already at 47. This is the first fight. He's already a quarter of the way, like, screwed. Alright, so he moved himself to the back, which means he probably has an attack that's about to, like, rickroll my ultimate. Huh. <laughs> well, that one guy died. Oh. oh, that yeah, that vomit attack does a lot of a lot of stress damage. Yeah, like it's already like completely rolled two of my guys. Balling. All right, so now he's stunned, so he's worthless this round. <laughs> Mortality clarified in a single huh. strike. Oh, that that did a lot of damage. 
And then now I can't attack anyone because he's a massive, like... And then he's going to keep vomiting on me, so... <laughs> oh, you can't reach him? Oh, look, and I got a disease again, so... <laughs> As the so I'm gonna do that because I want to be able to kill that thing. Blossoms. And the only thing I can do is just keep healing, and my heal sucks. So, but never hidden. All right, so now he's loaded up for to go ham on me again. Destroyed. A chop retreat. Hopefully that means he can't do it because he's not all the way in the back. I mean, I'm pretty much begging at this point that that's the truth. Yeah. Is there? Where does it show the turn order? It doesn't. Where's the position? Oh, it doesn't show. Oh. Yeah, it literally doesn't. It's just it's completely like random how it happens. Oh my god. So I'm gonna do this because it marks him, so he takes more damage. No, no, it didn't mark him. Cool. <laughs> Supposed to. Impressive. At least you dodged that attack. Well, I canceled it because he didn't go to the last position. Oh, okay. So, like, positioning in this game is really big. But the characters that manipulate position, um, they suck. <laughs> <laughs> they just aren't good. Oh my god. I mean, but look at, look at what that one fight did. It maxed three of my characters. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Um, please be good. Oh my god. I got 32 stress off of that. Did you see that? Oh shit. Uh oh. Alright. And then to complete this, I, ha fuel. I have to do 100% of the rooms. Oh, let's see if I do all, yeah. Yeah, so like. Uh oh. Yeah, that all looks right, like a so bad room to the right. He just developed a. Uh, if only a bad treasure work. could staunch so the let's flow see which one he just got. Otherworldly corruption. Um. Okay, so he has to interact with everything as well. Great. So they can okay. fight over it. <laughs> yeah. So now both of these... these tunnels pretty much there's the not going to be any sectors. item I can ever pass. Yeah, it's, it's the dodge for me that just... The wounds or like the, can be the numbers in this game that just irritate me. Never it me. just doesn't make sense. So that pushes her. Um, it just doesn't make any sense. Like this, it says you know a number here, but that number doesn't mean mm -hmm. anything. So like it's a 59 percent chance to get that guy. This is how strong these these people are. Right. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. So it's like this game is not. You can't approach it with like a normal understanding of like D and D or uh, you know like an RPG, right? Where you're gonna tank or you're gonna heal or you're gonna like you know. You have all these moves that do status debuffs or like they they're supposed to do all these different things. Rush this advantage. But no using one turn to do that potentially puts you in a position where you like you've taken more damage, or like you're even worse off. So it's like... well, so far it seems like that thief guy is the best. Is he has an attack that heals his heals his sanity. Which one? This guy? That 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 blast attack that he does. Well, no, it's is whenever it... you kill. You heal sanity. Oh. Is lit. Uh, but because clear. he hits so many people, we require he's only very the often to killing. Follow it. What is this? Swine marcher. Alright, so. He's got that ball and chain move that stuns, but I'm not going to be able to kill him in one round, so. 
And this guy does 14 damage. And it's... <clears throat> it's crazy. Yeah, the Grape Shot Blast is pretty... Yeah. But, it, I mean, like I said, it just misses sometimes for no reason other than that they just wanted to miss. <laughs> or it's got, like, a global statistic where because this guy's hit rate was so low, because it missed for him, it automatically makes everyone miss. But they don't ever... They don't ever explain if that's how they, in the game. Like, they don't provide any of that information. And so, like, explain to me why this character... How many times have you seen this character get hit in two dungeons? One time. And she's got my <laughs> lowest dodge. Yeah. But this guy... These two people have a ton of dodge, and they just get just murdered. Yeah, I got pushed to the back. And then, like, so that push gives everyone stress, stuns him... He's gonna get stressed again. Like, it's getting it huh. just. It's like crazy. Well, like shifting positions gives him stress. Okay. That's interesting. Everyone just took a shitload of stress. Oh, Herbert's done. Alright, so now Herbert's broken. Okay. So now Herbert may or may not want to act or will only act on their own, like, accord. <sighs> Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. So now you've just witnessed them act seven times to my one. He got stunned again, so he's officially not going to act. So right. he's pissed off, so he just like shouted, everyone's going to die, so everyone else just got more stress. By the way, this is my second room. <laughs> He's still dying to this freaking poison. All oh, right, yeah. yeah. He's just slowly bleeding out. Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, see. So it... So then, even that it fills further, I guess. Yeah. Now the boxes oh. are being colored. So in. they all just took more damage. They're all gonna get more stuff. Surgical precision. So he finally just got unstunned. Oh, he crit healed. He did. Oh, but he's mad, so he's making everyone. Oh, well, he just triggered somebody else. So now I have two people. That are going to be no constantly making hell. everyone else upset, which is going to cause her to get upset. So then I'll have three people that are panicked. <laughs> All right, so now my whole my whole team is just Reeling, purely panicked. Gasping, taken over the edge of into madness. And then what happens if it fills up again? Then they ha have a heart attack. What? Yeah. Okay, so instead of acting... So she won't let herself be healed. <laughs> so he's upset, so he... Uh... <laughs> That's true, baby. He tried to swap oh, yeah, positions. Away. Yeah. The corpses are in the way, so I can't get to the back. So this dude's just been constantly doing drums of doom this entire, like... <laughs> <laughs> so she auto-attacked. She still won't let herself be healed. <laughs> She won't let me move her because she's upset. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hit anything with my pistol. The corpses are in the way, so I still can't do anything here. So now I gotta clear the corpses. Right, yeah. Oh, look, she's adding more stress to everybody. <laughs> <laughs>
I mean, and like, because they're stressed, I, they can't hit anything. God, that, yeah, that guy that adds stress is rough. Especially when it hits a bunch of, yeah, multiple people. So I'm like, okay, here, try and move. Oh, yay! Uh, yeah, if that guy had a, uh, a group heal that healed stress... Oh, god, he can still use it. That's, like, that's freaking ridiculous. Oh, fantastic. Soothe. Sedated. My spirit animal flies too high. So she passed her turn because she's a okay. <laughs> <laughs> My spirit animal, that's funny. I'm like eight rounds into this. Seize oh, this momentum. Don't, Push yeah. on to the task's end. Um, need some food. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna have to heal up, yeah. Yeah. So, so there's nothing that'll fix your, your sanity? Nope. Really? There, there's a single character that does... Um, There's a single character that does that. It's like a jester or a juggler or something like that. That's the only character I've seen that like actively removes um, anything like that. Huh. Oh. Yes, something bad. Oh, now I'm clumsy. Oh yeah, and if you let your team starve, yeah, good, good luck. As the light gains purchase, yeah. spirits are lifted, There's and trap. purpose is made clear. Uh, he's bleeding to death. Now he had a heart attack. All right. What? Yeah. So now he's at he's at one life. So that means he's dead and he's next hit. And for the rest of the fight, he's minus ten accuracy, minus damage. Oh, the next blow could be fatal. So can you can you heal him now or not? Oh yeah, you can. Well, no. I mean, now he's like. Oh, bad thing here too. Yep. The light, the <laughs> promise of safety. <laughs> bag. Oh no, she's gonna steal it. <laughs> Finding the stuff is only the first. Are there any classes or characters now that kind of feed off home. of being um, stressed? Uh, yeah, being uh, stressed. I I haven't found one. Huh. Like you have to kind of ride that line between. Yeah. You know, dipping too far into the stress. No, or like their character I... really comes alive like once they become stressed, like then they're. No, the, the stress kind of... just it, it wrecks your whole team and it's. In it's radiance, un it's unmanageable. Victory. I found no way to like work around it. Okay, so this is where I lose because he's about to just screw with everybody, switching positions already. Like, yeah, I don't know how you're gonna. So my only hope is if I can kill enough people fast enough, oh, he gets crit. Unbalanced. Oh, here he goes, he's about to have a heart attack, had another heart attack. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. No, let's go ahead and yeah, add more stress to everybody. Um, I mean, he's uh, survived for one more round. Um, <laughs> Just try. I gotta try and move this guy, but he's gonna switch positions here in a second. Okay, so then we're gonna try and kill this guy because that's the drummer. That's the bad guy. Yeah, we don't like the drummer. Oh God, now I have another disease. Oh, okay, my whole team's paranoid now. Okay. Right, yeah. I just needed to make sure. I couldn't have one not get pissed off. Oh, there we go. Yeah, 
here he comes. He's marked now, so guess what? That means he's gonna take double damage to this guy's charge, unless he dodges it. Big spear. Oh, no, he got crit too. Nice. <laughs> cool, cool. Cool, cool. Well, I'm very glad you got to see and experience with me this game and why I can only play it for a small period Injury of time and despondence. because it's this Set the stage it's for literally this aggravating alright so he won't even let me heal him so he's going to be on death door which means he's going to die to the next attack he's decided to pass oh here comes Bombit and he got another heart attack terrible <laughs> vistas of emptiness revealed themselves Oh, here we go. Death door, death door, heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't let me heal you either. Vigor is restored. Cut. Let's get this guy down. For, for not taking any heals, she's surviving quite. For oh, quite death a while. door again. Let's have another heart attack here. I mean, I do two damage. I do two and well, four then, damage. Like, those you can't keep get overkilled if you just keep quakes. healing and keep going to the death door thing. Eventually, yeah. I don't I don't think it. I think eventually it just worked. Oh, we decided to get out. Oh, same reason. Oh, oh, she got stuck. Oh, there's the death door. The Alright, so there's my Feeding my strongest character. Theory. Dead forever. <laughs> uh, really? Had, just had another heart attack, so I lose full life. Or expire. <laughs> A time to perform beyond one's limits. What was that? I was just telling you that you lost your, you lost the guy. Or... Yeah, it's just a message saying you suck. <laughs> It's not, I like. Can I retreat? Uh, maybe I can retreat from combat and get out of here. Yeah, I don't, you... I don't think I'm gonna be able to, but let's find out. The will to fight, fall. Oh, uh, yeah. oh, he had another heart attack. Cool. Right. <laughs> oh, I get to run away from my favorite day. Abandoned quest. There you go. Bye. I mean, like, <laughs> yeah. I think you have to keep that stuff. Have a guilty conscience. You answered oh, the letter. Did you, did you resurrect that guy? Or no, he's dead like, forever. Me. Really? Uh, yeah. He can't take his remains. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and like, I don't, I don't even get his <laughs> items back. Oh shit. Yeah, I mean, like, just like full blown, you're, you're done. And then all these characters suck. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm, da I'm permanently down a guy. Um, Herbert has got to go into, like, full-blown, like, counseling. <laughs> um, dude, like, figure it out. How long does it take for him to get fixed? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Bajut? Oh, I can't even, I can't even cure her. Because there's a dude, this guy right here is uh, blocking oh. my, like, every step of the way, this game tries to screw you. What's that guy? Plus four accuracy, minus one speed. Oh, I like that. I'm gonna buy that. Why not? Yeah, the, he's just a dude who's, like, in town that just, like, takes over your, he your everything. He takes up spots that you're- Yeah, that he you're... just randomly takes spots for whatever reason. <laughs> Alright, so... We got Reynolds back. So we have Clarice, who's our healer. Hello, Clarice. <laughs> yeah, or CC. I don't know. I was just like, this game, man, I don't get it. It's just, like, for no reason, you're just- you get shit on. <laughs> Alright, so now I have the dog guy who's gonna take the place of my other guy. So it's like, 
what, what did I technically do wrong? I got into a fight with a pig. Yeah, I got into yeah. one fight with a pig who just like... Wrecked the whole run. Yeah. <clears throat> just like absolutely nothing you can do to prevent it. Like. Yeah, you have to kind of account for <clears throat> running into those. How do you account for running into it? It's I know. Not, yeah, it's not like, like it said so like far, I, pig, pig shit in the dungeon. <laughs> yeah, so far there's there be if there's a way to like heal your sanity, that's kind of the crux of it. So like, I don't even. I've never even seen a leopard. Well, you get out of here. You're not coming with me. So like now I'm taking, you know, not so good guys in. Mm -hmm. In the hopes that they'll do good, or um, yeah, like this character. Are there any classes that you haven't tried, or any? Uh... I that they haven't popped up. All right. So this you guy can heal. Guys? This guy can pull like people and corpses. He can do a bunch of things. So he's a little bit. Technically, he's a little bit better, but I don't know. Dude, like <laughs> this does plus four accuracy, minus four dodge, plus minus ten percent stress. That might not be bad, <clears throat> but it's a medium. I can't get through a short. How am I going to get through a medium? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like. I don't... <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> this is a medium. This is a medium. This is a short. Crusader only plus ten percent melee damage minus fifty percent healing skills. Is that my healing skills? <laughs> All right. So hold on. Let me see if I can actually cure whatever which, w weird disease she got. Which uh, dungeon are you planning on going in? I have no idea right now. No, I need to cure diseases. What did she get? She's got two. She's got plus three speed. No, accuracy down? Get the hell out of here. That's not a good thing. See, if you're planning on doing the warrens, this, this thing suggests using a Vestal, Grave Robber, Houndmaster, and Hellion. Oh yeah, I'm sure there's a guide out there to tell me how to do it. I was trying to do it blind, but even with a guide, I just feel like this game's just gonna still shit on you. And I don't have it. <laughs> Wait. I don't even have those characters. I have a Plague Docker. An Antiquarian. A Vestal. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I just like... It's, it just feels like every time I load this game up, I end up with more stress than the characters in the game. And it's just like, oh my god, what? Like, how? Why? What? Why is it like this? <laughs> yeah. And it just is. <laughs> yeah, you, I guess, yeah, you just have to kind of find the right the right group and composition for each dungeon. But even if you have the right group, you can't, you like, they get, um, they get so much stress or they get so bullied, you just can't like do anything. I literally yeah. just got an achievement for abandoning a quest and having a person die. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chris said he's going to be here soon. Oh, cool. So, I Stark as Dungeon. <laughs> the most rage-inducing game I've found in a, quite some time. Yeah, very interesting. <laughs> Drop a like, subscribe. Most importantly, do something kind for somebody else. Jesus.